Hi everyone, it's Jan with What You Make It, and I have a new obsession. It's recreating chalkboard art in a stamped card form. I saw Betsy Veldman do this over on the Paper Tray Ink blog, and I've fallen in love with it, and I wanted to share the technique with you in case you're as obsessed with it as I am. This is a great technique to use a lot of your different stamps. If you look at some of the samples of chalkboard art that I have over on my blog, you'll see that it's very typography and text driven, but it uses lots of little elements like coffee cups and doilies and lots of flourishes. So get your stamps out because you're really going to be able to use bits and pieces from lots of them. Some of the other supplies you're going to need is you're going to use a black or a gray, maybe even a green cardstock to create your chalkboard. And you're definitely going to want your embossing buddy to do that. We're going to do some Versamark and we're going to use white detailed embossing powder. And we're going to want some pigment white ink. You're also going to use some colored pencils. Definitely you're going to need white and a ruler if you decide that you want to use color you can add those now you can see that i created sample boards just by with just using some black ink and the actual size card that i'm going to be creating my final card topper on but you came up, i was able to come up with lots of different options i'm going to show you how i did this one that's kind of a valentine um option and i'm going to do it both on the black and the gray so you can see exactly what um, how the same design looks on both of the colors. To begin with, you want to use your embossing buddy. Use that to get rid of any oils because we're going to do a lot of embossing, and so you don't. It'll really help you get a really good impression. So the first thing we're going to do is this quilled. Um, it's from Quilled Elegance. It's really pretty. It's all these swirlies. But it's the shapes are heart, are hearts and leaves, um, just a very pretty stamp set. And I thought it would be um, really nice to do as a border. If you go and look at some of the samples, you'll see there's lots of flourishes and and those kinds of things. It's typography and flourishes and elements. So that was really what the basis of this design was. Now I found working on both of these at the same time that putting the embossing powder onto the card as I stamped the various elements I didn't actually heat emboss it until I had it all done um, but put the powder on it as you go just to kind of make sure that it stays plenty sticky now for the top part of the text I'm using sentiment signs it's another um, stamp set from Paper Tray Ink, but you can do all kinds of things. I showed you that Simon Says stamp, um, stamp set that I used on a lot of the other ones that I did. It's just things that have really cool fonts um, and phrases would work for this. And this particular one had the sentiment that I wanted for this particular thing and it it takes up some vertical space and you can see I keep referring back to my my template that I had there and I'm using strawberry patch and strawberry patch sentiments to pull the the little swirl the flourish and then the bottom sentiment which is you are so sweet and I put the flourish and the sentiment on at once now another little clue here we're going to do some additional stamping after we've done all of this embossing so once you get your stamps set leave them on your your um your grid block or whatever you're using um because we're going to go back and we're going to stamp a shadow with the white ink i know it i was so glad that betsy went through the process of figuring out how to make it look this way there's always um you know the chalkboards are not pristine clean and she's done a really good job of helping us know how to to do that and if you're like me you're going to become kind of addicted to doing these the re i actually have had these up on my my blog for a couple of days but i had made so many toppers while i was um doing this that it took me a while to go back and get the 
the whole cards made. If you have any little stray pieces of embossing powder, use a paintbrush to get those off. Heat set it and you're ready to go. Now, if you're going to do any coloring, a lot of the chalkboard art is just white and black or white and the um, whatever color is the chalkboard itself. But I I really kind of like some that had some some colors on it. So I chose to go with some two shades of pink and two shades of blue and some green. And you can see how I've alternated them in the quilled image. And I've just colored over it. And you can do it fairly quickly. It it's it can be kind of sloppy because if you you know if you've seen chalkboards, it chalk isn't a really pristine um, medium. Okay, so here's another way to make your your stamp sets really pop as chalkboard art. Chalkboard art really kind of emphasizes words and phrases, and so I'm taking my white Prisma pencil and a, and a straight line or a straight edge ruler, and I'm drawing some lines to draw attention to the word smile and the word enjoy. And the other thing that I'm going way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to take the colored pencils that I used over on the quilled edge, and I'm going to color those in. And I'm not trying to make it really smooth. You'll see I'm going at an angle here and I'm leaving kind of those rough lines in there because you would see those on chalkboard art. Very easy, easy technique to do. Now we're going to add in some of the chalk dust. And to do that, I had taken a baby wipe and set it aside when I started the process. So it was still damp when I got to this point, but you just dip it in your ink pad and then the moisture of it kind of blur and because it's pigment ink, it's slower to dry. Now we're gonna do the little shadow image and you put your stamp that you actually used to create this, you put it in the white ink and I'm putting it down into, or down into the left. So you'll see when I take it up that there's that little shadow there and you want to do that for each of your stamps. This is why I said leave your stamps on the stamp block that you were um, doing it with particularly if you build a sentiment this one happened to be already together but on some of the others where I built the sentiment out of bits and pieces of stamps putting it on the block and leaving it there made this step a whole lot easier. So I, you just want to match, did you go down and to the left on um, the last stamp? Just make sure that it matches, it, it gives it continuity. And I just put another little swirl down up there at the bottom to keep the whole side balanced. The last step I'm going to do is take my ink pad and just run it around the edges. Pigment ink dries really slow so you, it really does kind of absorb into the black and give you that chalky look. And that really is all there is to creating that chalkboard art. But I wanted to show you this one other thing. My friend Leslie sent me this beautiful lacy cloth and I've been hoarding it and I decided that this was the project to, to do it on. So I cut it to fit the front of the card and I love how it looks. So to finish the card I put just a little bit of adhesive down the center there because that would hide the adhesive behind this basically this tag that is the the chalkboard art and then I put it up on pop dots and the only thing to be aware of there is make sure you don't put your pop dots higher. I I'm using a standard size card, but I wanted it to um, kind of hang above that. Put some sheer ribbon through it, and I used E6000 to attach these little acrylic leads. Guys, I hope you will try this technique for yourself. I had so much fun. I have more card tops than I know what to, to do with, so I'll be working on those a little bit more. Check out my blog for some examples. Thanks for coming, and be sure and save some time for creative play.